Hey, how's everybody doing today? How you guys doing? It is January, or I'm sorry, February 4th, 2021 in the Big Bear area of uh, San Bernardino National Forest. And we are now on Highway 18 from Highway 38. So if you came into town from Highway 38, we just made the left onto Big Bear Boulevard to head into town. And I wanted you guys to see what snow is remaining. I don't want you to be too concerned when you see very little on these roads, the main roads right now. Yes, a lot has melted, certainly. However, we're gonna take some of the back streets so you can see that there's still a decent amount for you guys to have fun in. Especially the ski resorts, you guys will be totally fine. They make snow every night. Every night that we have freezing temperatures. Two nights ago, it only got down to 33. Very warm night, very warm night. But yeah, guys, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. And this part of town is the part of town that gets less and less snow. The further you go back, like the opposite direction from where we're, we're headed right now, that's where you're gonna get the least amount of snow, over towards Baldwin Lake and whatnot. So the further we go this direction towards Big Bear Lake, because we're in Big Bear City now, towards Big Bear Lake, that's when you tend to get more snow. And as I said, do not be concerned about what you see on the main roads right here. They do extra, extra heavy duty work to get the snow removed from the sidewalks and these main streets right here. They bring tons of trucks, I'm telling you. At like three in the morning, there'll be a line of like 50 humongous dump trucks with one snow blower guy who uh, has a huge, huge machine for himself that's just blowing a ton of snow into the back of these trucks and then they haul it off somewhere. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, but yeah, as I said, I don't want you guys to get too worried seeing just very little bit of snow here. And as I said, we're going to take the back streets here. So we're going to turn on Greenway and head into the Moon Ridge area eventually so you guys can see there. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you guys are doing great, staying safe. Stop, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. And unfortunately, I don't see any snow on the radar. And we usually get like uh, the, the app that I use that's been the most successful, at least the most accurate compared to the other ones. Up here is the Weather Channel app. I don't know how it works in different cities or different areas, but up here, it's been the most reliable one of all the ones that I've used in the almost six years that I've lived here. So, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, so you can see we're getting into a little more snow. This is coming into the neighborhoods. And the further we go to the left, like we're going right now, you will uh, start seeing more snow. But yeah, it's, un it's unfortunate we got nothing, nothing on the horizon. So we're on Sawmill right now. This is a good place. I think to go to go sledding and stuff. I mean, yeah, there's a fence here and a wall with a hole in it. Like, uh, I mean, it does say no trespassing. Yeah, look. Even, so, I think that sign said no no trespassing. Even though I see a bunch of people in there um, when we have a lot of tourist activity up here, please, if it says no trespassing, you guys, very important that you do not go in. Um, just to keep you guys extra safe. I want you to have the best time you can have up here because you guys are awesome. You guys are super cool people and I just want you to have an absolute blast. But some of these uh, little little things are a little more prominent type of idiosyncrasies with this town as opposed to like others. It's a, definitely a, 
Second Amendment town for sure. Um, and you just, I just want you guys to be extra, extra careful. Because a lot of times when, when we get a good amount of snow, it's really hard to see um, some of the signs sometimes. So be very, 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 very vigilant. Because as I said, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. I want you to have a great time, not get a ticket or trespassing or just something. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of you always ask me uh, of good places to go sledding. Good spots that maybe not a lot of people go to. And so the only issue with that is that for the like the past couple years, once uh, I started getting like comments from you guys and stuff and questions, um, I've been telling everyone to go to these few certain spots, and like they're 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 all packed. And it's it's not like it was a spot that I found on on my own. It's just from from living here, I'd see other people sledding there, and so I was like, oh wow, that's a great spot I never knew existed. And so I jot that down in my mind for you guys, just so you guys can try to have. Is, great of a time as possible and not struggle trying to look for these places and park your car in the wrong spot and get a ticket and this and that <laughs> but yeah just want you guys to have fun enjoy a different environment a different atmosphere get away from the rigors of uh of down the hill concrete jungle living and uh, I mean, it's the same way up here, but it's just a little more peaceful up here, you guys. And when you guys are actually here visiting and, and leaving comments when you're actually here, the comments are so amazingly beautiful and just so happy and just, I look forward to those all the time. I look forward to hearing that you guys had a blast up here and that, you know, if there was something that I did that helped you guys out a little bit. That, that freaking is awesome and that makes my day for sure for sure because you guys are like me like uh especially the big time snow lovers it's like before I'm, I moved up here man it would have been awesome to have a channel like this for people like me I thought I was very rare the person who just loved the snow more than anybody else and like would do anything he could to be in the snow and this and that like but a lot of you guys are just like me like that. And I found that to be super awesome. And I'm just super honored to have a lot of similarities with you guys. Because you guys are super cool people that I look up to all the time. You guys are very sweet to me. And I just can't thank you enough for being so sweet. And um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always here to do what I can for you guys. And answer the questions to the best of my ability. And I promise if I don't know something, you guys, like some of the questions have a lot to do with safety and I'm not going to say something if I'm not 100% sure because uh, I, I feel like I have a lot of responsibility here with some of the things I say and uh, show you on video to be extra cautious of you guys and I just don't want anything to happen. I want you guys to come up here and have a blast not get into any issues you know so yeah <laughs> thanks again for everything you guys. So we are about to enter Moon Ridge from the back. Just a moment here. So look guys, most of these neighborhoods, you'll still see a bunch of snow like this. There's plenty of snow to make snowmen. And at the place that you're probably staying, if it's like someone's house or something like that, you're probably gonna have snow. And if not, I do know a few spots in kind of middle moon ridge it's not necessarily upper moon ridge totally but it's on the way up it's there's like a huge gully in between the streets so the the gully goes up and down so you start on one side and sled down it and, and go super fast and then you, you start going up the other side to slow yourself down and there's no safety issues you're not gonna have any cars possibly run the kids over there's nothing like that um, it's just it, it's just fun and it's a very quiet spot um, in one, in one of the neighborhoods up there, off of Sand Canyon. So um, yeah, sometimes I've actually had you guys meet me, and then I have you follow me to like a, a certain spot just so you're not wasting your time trying to find something. And because I know a lot of you don't get a huge opportunity to stay here for that long, so 
having to deal with like basic stuff like that, I feel like is something that I can overcome for you guys so you're not wasting as much time up here. I mean, I want you to, to come up here and not have to like deal with like any of like this stuff. Just come up here, have a great time and, and let me do what I can to assist in any way I can. But anyway, yeah, we're entering Moon Ridge now, you guys. There's Snow Summit straight ahead. And Bear is to the left here. You can see Geronimo, barely. Watch right through the tree, there it is, Geronimo, boom. But yeah, for those of you coming up, those of you who have watched this video all the way through so far, probably hardly anyone, but uh, if you have watched it this far, you're gonna be fine coming up here, guys. I got a, a couple really concerned messages from parents whose kids are, are coming up here and they're just really worried about them driving in the snow and, and that they've never been in snow and the fact that they're even driving in the snow is just, it, it's, it's scaring the crap out of them. And I really did what I could to let them rest assured that their kids will, will be totally fine. Um, yeah, it's it's like, it's really great road conditions. The only thing I mentioned was to tell tell her kids that when they're up here, once it becomes nighttime and early morning and we have freezing temperatures, then it's very important that they pay attention. Very important that they pay attention to, uh, to the spots in the road, any wet spots, because this snow melts during the day, you guys, right? And it comes melts on, melts onto the street, like that right there. See that? That's gonna freeze tonight, and that's gonna be ice. So that's what they need to look out for: is get up here, you guys, in the middle of the day if you can, um, to avoid getting here during freezing temperatures. And then, uh, yeah, the worst of the concerns is over. Anyway, love you guys a lot, man. You guys rock. Look at the snow. There's still a lot of snow everywhere. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take this one street that I like to take right here. Just so you guys can see, this is one street next to my house. Just, I'm over here and this is the street right here. You're gonna see. But as I said, the snow cleanup crews, they do an incredible job. These guys need like, like I don't know man, they need some bonuses or, or something. But look at all this snow guys, okay? So this is one of the neighborhoods. Look at this. right across the street past those trees right there so there's still a good amount of snow guys as I said especially if you're staying in like a house or or something because I know lots lots of the the bigger hotels up here like they do a terrific job in cleaning out the snow around the property um, just for safety reasons. Wow, look at that. That house right there is beautiful. It just always gets a ton of snow right on the corner. <laughs> Obviously, it's from snow plows too, but God, that's like, that's just an awesome looking house. That's like a grandparent's house. I love that. That's the house that I want to live in. <laughs> it's beautiful, guys. But anyway, <clears throat> sorry for rambling and rambling and rambling, but <clears throat> it's just what I do. Yeah, you guys and your kids are gonna have so much fun. I mean, I'd even think that a week from now, there will still be a good amount of snow in, in spots to where you can have a good time. So please guys, get up here and have a blast. Create the most incredible memories because snow is that. Snow does create a lot of, at least for me, it's just my best memories in my life are, are like with my family in the snow. I've traveled the world, but my best memories are in Lake Arrowhead as a kid. My favorite memories. All because of this white stuff right here. Can you believe that? Anyway. You guys rock. I appreciate you guys for everything. Being as kind as you are. And giving me enough trust to where you can ask me safety questions and believe in me enough to to help you out so 
as I said, if I don't know something, guys, I'm not gonna put you guys in any situation like that. I would say, no, I don't know the answer, I'm embarrassed. However, I will get the answer for you. Um, your lives are so important. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. This is just an update on what's going on with the snow in town. Um, yeah, we could go over by, by, the, by the village, but <clears throat> this is what you guys wanna see, honestly, because this is where most of the, the tourism is gonna be spending time is over here so all right guys peace out i'm gonna get some gas for that eh? i'll talk to you later uh february 4th 2021 see you guys